Hi friends, before we start uh, synchronous counters, let us see some more details about what GK flip flop is and what its uh, truth table we have seen earlier talks about. The truth table of JK flip flop which we are familiar with is shown here. So it talks about uh, the various possibilities which can be given to J and K inputs and with the different combinations of J and K what would happen to the output. So that's going to tell us how output is going to make transition from current state to the next state and hence this table we call specifically a transition table. But this is not uh, going to help us when we are designing the circuit because when you are designing a counter what we know is how the output of each flip-flop changing from one state to other state. That means we know changes but uh, we don't know how to make that change to happen. Here if you give some excitation you know how changes happen but the opposite of this is what we require. If you want a particular change what excitation should be given. So looking at uh, the present state and next state then there are four possibilities 0 to 0 transition, 0 to 1 transition, 1 to 0 transition and 1 to 1 transition. If you want to, so all these transitions can be looked into two ways. One way is, is there change? That is, you need a 1-1 one, one input. Or is there no change? That means 0-0 zero, zero input. Otherwise, other way is, don't worry about current state. Just look at what you want in future. You want in, in future a 0 just reset it. In future, if you want a 1, just set it. So that way there are two options for any transition. Either there can be a change or no change or you need to set or reset. And let us see all, what all are possible. If it is 0 to 0 transition, you can say that earlier it was 0, now it is 0, so which says no change. So J should be 0, K should be 0, then you will not find any change earlier zero now also zero done otherwise forget what was earlier you want a zero now so reset it put it zero one so whether you use zero zero or zero one you are going to get this transition therefore just what is common in both of them yes common is j should be zero k can be anything therefore it is zero don't care same way zero to one transition Yes, there is change. That means you need to toggle it 1-1 one, one, or set the output. So 1-0. So it says J should be 1. K can be anything. Third possibility, 1-0. to zero. Yes, there is toggle action required. So 1-1 one, one, and it can be reset. So 0-1. So it says J can be anything but K should be 1. And for finally 1-1 one one transition, it says no change, so J, J and K values can be zero, so that the current state and past state both are same. Or you just set it, so that is one zero, which says that K should be compulsorily zero, J can be anything. Therefore, these are the four things. So zero to zero transition, you need zero, don't care as excitation. Zero to one transition, J should be one, K can be anything, 1 to 0, J can be anything, make sure K should be 1, 1 to 1 transition, J can be anything, but make sure K should be 0. Now, advantage of this, we see in our next lecture, that when you are trying to simplify this through K maps, then these don't cares are going to be very much useful as we have seen in our previous session, They're minimizing with don't cares that is if required use it not required neglect it if the don't care inclusion is going to help simplification use it if it is not going to help in simplifying then neglect it that's what therefore 
instead of writing this or this we could write zero don't care so this don't care can be useful in simplifying our uh, expressions so that's uh, what it is saying for a given transition what excitation should be given so if we know this then it will be useful in designing the circuit because while designing a counter we will be knowing from what state to what state it is going to change that means we will be knowing transition and we don't know for that transition what is required at the input side so this is what we call excitation table this is going to tell if jk values are known what is going to happen with the output this is transition table and this will be useful while analyzing a counter and this one will be using while designing a counter done so that's it for now so we will continue our design activity of synchronous counters in the next sessions so till then take care see you bye